One of the special cases that happens when we solve a system of two equations and two variables is coinciding lines. Coinciding lines are really the same line, but the equations are made to look different. If we solve the system graphically, we quickly realize that the two lines are landing one on top of the other and are really the same line. But what does it look like when we are solving with an algebraic method, like substitution? This example will illustrate what this looks like. In order to use the substitution method, I have to isolate either the x or the y in one of the equations. Starting with the equation on the left, I'm moving my negative 3y to the right of the equals, and then dividing everything in the equation by 2 in order to isolate the x x is equal to 1.5y plus 2.5. And I am going to substitute this into the other equation in the position of the x. I rewrite the second equation showing this substitution. Using algebra to simplify, I get 6y plus 10 equals 6y plus 10. And then when I move the terms that contain the y variable together and move the constant terms together, I end up with 6y minus 6y equals 10 minus 10. And this results in 0 equals 0. The statement 0 equals 0 is my clue that I am dealing with coinciding lines. When asked for the type of lines, I write coinciding lines. And when asked for the solution set, I have to say an infinite number of solutions. Because coinciding lines lying on top of each other share all of their points in common. Since lines extend infinitely in either direction, there are an infinite number of correct answers when asked, what point do these two lines share? This is how we deal with a coinciding line situation when using the substitution algebraic method.